hello everyone hope you're doing great welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome and i'm so happy to see you all once again in this episode we're going to learn how we can uh, install rdp or xrdp to our uh, ubuntu server whether you're using ubuntu server or you're using the ubuntu desktop version but my aim is how to access uh, ubuntu server uh, from my windows 11 and it is very easy and very very simple uh, steps as well so the first question is how am i supposed to uh, enable the ssh uh, here are some uh, basic command i can share with all of you um, first of all you have to make sure to install ssh open uh, open ssh so i do have in here in history i wish i can share with all of you yes of course here is the procedure here is the procedure you just need to uh, remember this one this is not a part of our lecture but i thought that if you're missing this part you have to know how to install the ssh uh, to your uh, server once you click y and it automatically asks you uh, it does not ask any question just why 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 it's installed and ready to go so in order to test this one is it working or not the testing of ssh is we can say system ctl status ssh as you look at in here it's active and it's running there is no issue there is no problem with this one at some point if you encounter any issue with this one it should it shouldn't be a big problem um, then what we're gonna do is uh, let me end up the line all right um, so you, in order to re uh, restart your SSH you can uh, uh, type the same command but uh, restart uh restart uh, restart you should good to go so now you're all set with ssh and now let's go how we can install or how we can access uh our uh ubuntu uh, from our windows operating system the first thing you have to do is that uh as you look at in here i'm an administrator i'm in the root that is fine it doesn't matter let me exit from here i just want to access the same user that i log into mm, through this uh directory so first of all we have to do is sudo apt uh, update we just want to make sure that our uh, ubuntu is up to date and as you look at in here there are some parts are missing and there you go it's up to date and no need to make any changes the another step is we have to type sudo then apt and install xrdp so remember that sudo apt install xrpd let's click this one it's gonna take time and the answer should be y yes of course so let's see it depend on the speed of the internet that you have but it should be very simple i will definitely put the all command in the description as well copy and paste and you should good to go all right as you look at in here i have no error no issue no problem the other one is let's enable the x rdp to our ubuntu sudo uh, then system ctl enable xrdp xrdp so as you look at in here it is enabled now the other one is let's allow this one uh, from the firewall of our ubuntu so in order to do that uh, sudo ufw then allow and then what we're gonna go from any to any uh guys this is the most common port 3389 uh protocol 33 3389 uh, pro uh it should be proto tcp uh all right this is uh this is update and uh, we should get to go so again if you get confused like which ip address you're supposed to do you just type ip address and as you look at in here this is the ip address that i have let's remove this stuff and see if we are able to access the uh ubuntu using uh rdp so you just need to type in your windows uh uh this is my IP address. As you look at in here, this is IP address 100.10.10.116. Click connect. As you look at in here, it's allowing me to access my Ubuntu server. Let's click yes. And uh, here is the screen. Guys, here's the screen. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I can type at administrator 
and then here is the password which i'm not saying the password loudly but uh, through that you should get to go all right um for the first time uh, this is gonna take a uh, this, you, you you may encounter a black screen what we're gonna do we're gonna close this one and uh, you can save it in display okay what i'm going to do at this point at this point i am going to reboot my re reload i believe so reload re uh, reboot so you said you're you're not allowed to reboot let's see is uh, do reboot all right we have to wait for a while all right back to this same remote desktop just uh, type remote desktop you should get to this uh, prompt and type the ubuntu server ip or ubuntu desktop doesn't matter session is here let's open it and uh, administrator and here is the password all right we have to wait for a while there you go guys here is the place we are supposed to type my password there you go guys here is my ubuntu and um and i have no issue with ubuntu as you look at in here these are my everything that i want all right i hope the information was very informative if you think so thank you for your time and i really appreciate it the only way to appreciate my work is to simply subscribe and like the video until next time i say safe be brave and of course see you guys next time